internal affairs Kirunda Kivejinja tried to justify the actions of the police against FDC leader Dr. Kizavesige and other politicians who participated in the walk to work campaign today. Kirunda told the lawmakers that the police acted that way because it had information that the organizers meant to change government using unconstitutional means. If you decide to change the, 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 the sitting government unconstitutionally, don't expect that government to assist you in that job. And they should stop fooling us in parliament. We should stop being fooled when people are being killed by police. So I will not participate in any demonstration. I will look for any opportunity that can make me more relevant. Otherwise, we are becoming a cartoon. The opposition asked him to explain why police shot Dr. Besge and used expired tear gas on citizens. They are using tear gas of 2006, 2008, 2009. The best of the canisters we got was 2010. And they have no hesitation to fire it on school children, on patients in the dispensaries. This is dangerous. I want to request the Minister of Internal Affairs and the police treat Ugandans with dignity. Those people you are arresting in that manner are Ugandans and they are even demonstrating on behalf of your police who are poorly paid, whose money has no value. Major General Kahura should know that he's already a candidate in the ICC with what he's doing to us. He's already a candidate, he should just wait for his time when he will also be arraigned in The Hague to answer for crimes committed against humanity. However, in the statement this afternoon, police published Judith Nabakova promised to look into the shooting of Besige. Bitter MPs advised the government to address the causes of the demos instead of responding in a high-handed manner. And I can assure government that even next week, people will walk to work. The sooner they do something to regulate or cut down the fuel prices, the better. Many people walk to work, including police. So in all of fairness, let them people let them leave people to work. But at the same time, government should address the cause of the walking. An attempt by Finance State Minister Professor Ephraim Kamuntu to give an economic spin to the skyrocketing commodity prices was shouted down, prompting Speaker Edward Sekandi to adjourn the house prematurely. However, tempers continue to flare outside the house where Minister Kirunda Kivekinja and his deputy Matia Kasaija were attacked for misusing their offices. But I even established this constitution through sweat and blood. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So you will continue to eat it out no, of blood? No, I will, I, will, I will continue to defend it. Where? Well, Earlier before adjourning the house, the speaker asked the minister to do a countrywide sensitization campaign to explain to the people the guidance for demonstrations. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Parliament.